Welcome back to the CFA News Weekly Video brought to you by the Erner Berry Executive Conference, now the premier event for the seafood industry. The Executive Conference taking place at the Bellagio in Las Vegas from April 20th to the 30th is expanding this year and for the first time the Seafood Import Workshop is being integrated into the schedule. Visit ErnerBerry.com slash executive for more information. I'm Amanda Buckle. And I'm Erner Berry Seafood Market Reporter Lauren Castiglione. In today's lead story, a well-designed study by MSC found fraud labeling rates at less than 1%. MSC found that of 1,402 MSC certified fish products from 18 countries, 1,389 were labeled correctly, while 13 were not. The mislabeling that the MSC did find was in fresh and frozen prepackaged products and in restaurants, mainly in Western Europe. The mislabeling study from MSC comes after Oceana released their own report claiming that 20% of their samples failed the DNA test to be the species they were being sold as. In other news, based on the latest report from Nielsen, consumer demand for meal kits is going strong in the new year. Nielsen reports that meal kit users have increased 36% uh, over the past year. Panel data collected shows that 14.3 million households purchased meal kits in the last six months of 2018, which is 3.8 million more households from the last six months of 2017. Surprisingly, credit for the increase in meal kit sales may need to go to retail stores. While the majority of meal kit sales are made online, Nielsen found that there is growth in the number of kits being sold in stores. Meanwhile, Hardee's is testing a new menu item at select Mississippi locations during Lent. The fast food chain announced that they have partnered with America's Catch, one of the largest producers of U.S. farm-raised catfish, to bring new catfish sandwiches to four Hardee's locations. The new menu item features America's Catch catfish fillets, which are coated in cornmeal breading and topped with Duke's tartar sauce. The new sandwich starts at $3.99 and could potentially be a Lent offering at all Hardee's locations in 2020. And in our final story of the day, eight U.S.-based importers of Mexican seafood have joined efforts to remove illegal fishing gear and develop alternative gear to protect the critical endangered vaquita porpoise. The importers donated $12,000 to Vaquita CPR in an effort to remove illegal fishing gear from the upper Gulf of California. The most recent population of vaquita porpoise is only 22 individuals throughout the upper Gulf of California. And that wraps up our news for the week. Be sure to head over to seafoodnews.com or visit the Seafood tab in Comtel for a comprehensive look at the latest market and industry news. And don't forget to listen to a new episode of the Seafood News Podcast released on SoundCloud and iTunes every Monday. Thanks for watching and you be well. well.